Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I wanted to bring you one of the most controversial features on the Galaxy S8, and that is Secure Folder. Why is it controversial? Well, because it allows you to hide almost anything from someone, or splits your phone between a personal phone and a work phone, depending on who you are. So first of all, you unlock the secure folder using the iris scanner. So that's what I'll do now. And once it's unlocked, you have this secure folder. You can think of this as a second phone. That is the best way to think of it. So that being said, you have a personal side of the phone and a secondary side of the phone. What does that mean? Well, it means you can have contacts that are on this side and not on your personal side. You can web browse and go to certain sites that will not show up on your other side. So it completely separates the two. You can even download an app, just I'm gonna pick an app at random, say Tinder, have it on this side of the phone, on the secure folder, and not on your personal side. So you completely set it up, or you can have a sign-in account for Snapchat on your personal phone, and have a, another Snapchat that maybe is a bit more private for you and a significant other on your secure folder. Again, these are the possibilities you have with this folder. So you can add apps that are on your phone or not on your phone. So these are the ones that are on my phone, but I can download separately apps that are not on my phone just for this side. You also have the ability to add files for that and you can actually even customize the icon. If you don't want anyone to know this is a secure folder, you can make it your work folder and change the icon to uh, whatever the first letter of the word is. So you can put it work and it'll change it to just work and W. So you can really change this and play with it however you want. But yeah, you have that ability. That's probably the way if you want to customize it so that no one knows it is. In the settings section, you can also see how notifications will be displayed. So if you don't want to show content, you don't show content. If you don't want to show caller ID, you don't show caller ID. If you want to allow the clipboard, copy and paste, you don't show that. So these are all the things you can uh, make it so you do not want to show something. Uh, you also have different accounts that are, again, separate completely from this phone. So even though I have sign-ins on my other phone, it is completely separate from here. So another really great way is if you want to sign in to a uh, Office account or even a Microsoft Exchange account, you can sign into one of those and basically you have to sign into a Microsoft uh, app first for you to do that. But if you do that, then you actually have your business side on this side of the phone and your personal separate, which means if your work requires to have access to your phone, they will only have access to the secure folder and they will not have access to the personal folder. Now, there is one thing I want to make sure you do realize though, anything on the secure folder will not transfer out. So meaning if you connect it to a computer, it will not transfer what's in here out. It is a 256-bit encryption, so you will not be able to get what's inside of here if you just connect it to a computer. However, Samsung has added a new backup system, so you can back up things on here if you choose to on the secure folder for here. So you can back up things on here and set up an account. Uh, again, it can be a separate account from your normal Samsung account, to back up your secure folder separately from your regular stuff. All right, guys, that was a brief walkthrough of the secure folder. Hopefully it gave you a great idea about the benefits for this folder and what it can be used for. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Make sure to check out all of our other videos on the Galaxy S8 because we have the most coverage on YouTube for this phone. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.